Alright, welcome back to more X4 Foundations. Last episode, we finished off the Hatikva missions and also were able to capture a Phoenix Vanguard a destroyer, a Talati destroyer. And now we are going to proceed and <clears throat> Autopilot. start Engage. working on the Terran missions. Entering system, Nobilia's fortune. Entering system, Ias mists. Entering system. Pontifex's claim. Entering system. Holy vision. <clears throat> Probably don't need this crew anymore. Let's see, I think we got it from the supply ship. Entering system. True sight. Requesting immediate backup. Entering system. Second contact. Entering system, the void. Jump gate, get Sofune. Entering system, get Sofune.
Jump gate. Sol. Entering system. Sol. Entering Mars. Autopilot disengaged. Orbital Defense Station. Docking granted. We approach you with this operation because you have proved yourself to be a loyal and capable yeah, ally to <coughs> We've Terran already been people. By her. While it would be tempting to focus solely on the Xenon threat, neglecting other dangers would be foolish. Yes, we must never forget the Argon betrayal. The Argon Federation destroyed the Taurus, thereby significantly weakening Earth's defenses. This craven terrorist act killed Terran citizens and caused damage to our government, costing trillions. It was both a blow to Terran citizens' morale and a humiliation on the grander political stage. Now, more than ever, we need to project strength in the face of a shifting universe. The majority of our resources are tied up in the ongoing campaign against the Xenon. Technically, all sides have committed to a peace treaty, and the Secret Service's directive is to not interfere with Argon affairs. This is why we've approached you. While you are a Terran citizen, you have no documented ties to the Terran Secret Service. Without a traceable connection to us, you will be able to operate in Argon space without much restraint. We have identified an Antigone Republic civil servant we believe is willing to sell confidential Argon information to the highest bidder. You are to meet said informant, and should his intel prove to be of value, obtain it for us. At this point, I have to inform you that this is a strictly covert operation, and should you be compromised, the Terran High Command will deny any knowledge of or responsibility for your actions. Good luck. Morea. I am not sure whether my skills are well suited for an undertaking of this particular nature. Besides, I have a hard time identifying any scientific benefit in helping to destabilize these governments. As such, I would like to shift my focus towards the pursuit of more fruitful and constructive projects.
Okay, so I'm supposed to go there. I assume you'll want some information about the political landscape you're about to get entangled with. The Antigone Republic is a sovereign state, which only recently established itself during the shutdown. Their capital is Antigone Memorial, a system which became disconnected from the central Argon government and subsequently seceded from the Federation. When the jump gates began functioning again, the Republic expanded and claimed another handful of newly discovered systems before re-establishing contact with the Argon. Naturally, things were tense for a while, but it's since been sorted out. With that in mind, the Terran Secret Services angle makes sense. Due to their close ties, the Antigone Republic likely has access to all sorts of Argon communications, but they aren't under strict Argon supervision. If you factor in the inevitable dose of human greed, it's not a giant leap to expect that confidential information will leak eventually. Still, I can't shake the feeling that there is more to this than just bribing some government worker for intel. Best keep your wits about you. Entering asteroid belt. Requesting permission to talk. Docking permission granted. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Entering Jupiter. Beautiful, isn't it? Solid piece, I mean. I hope we can keep it that way. <clears throat> One thing I'm gonna do... is gather up some... wingman. In case this gets hot quick. Entering Saturn One. Joining squad. Disengaged. 
No hits. That's somewhat unexpected. No, there's something here. A faint signal my team can't quite pinpoint. I believe a more in-depth search is in order. That produced a result at least. If you keep this up, you'll be able to narrow down the signal's origin. Move towards the new search area and try again. Autopilot engaged. Spacesuit EMP. There. Morea. Docking granted. Autopilot engaged. Oh, wait. Autopilot disengaged. Container. Leaving that behind. It cost me too much money. I thought I had picked it up in my space suit. I detached it. Autopilot engaged. Engage. Great. Keep it up. Autopilot. Engaged. Empty space. Autopilot. Disengage. Autopilot disengaged. We've almost got it. Wreck. Empty spin wreck. Assign a local patrol to assist you right away. These pirates won't ambush us this time.
Ukraine. Piranha. Ukraine. Jeez, that's a big Terran force. Another big Terran force, wow. Our escort is ready and eager for a fight. Also got my own ships.
Entering Uranus. Just in time. 
The reports are piling up in Pioneer's territory, as we feared. Autopilot disengaged. that she was ordered to drop her cargo, but that nothing of value ended up being stolen. Only a small amount of foodstuffs. However, there's no time to dwell on that right now. This is as far as I can safely communicate with you, Operative. From here on out, you're on your own. Prevent the next Yaki attack. Autopilot, engage. <laughs> Now that the venerable Terran individual has terminated communications, I can finally share my insights with my valued assistant. I do so fancy a scientific investigation. Entering Neptune. I spot a pioneer mining fleet in the distance. Maybe we can ask them for directions. Autopilot. Autopilot. Engaged. Bolo. Mineral. By the Queen! Those pioneer fellows seem to be in trouble. All treads there! One step closer, and your space fly down! No, no, no! This can't be happening! Fleet, defend yourself. Don't let that Yaki take away our hard-earned credits. Captain? Are you sure? Of course I am. We're pioneers, and we won't be done in by a pirate. Boom! A lot of them. M. Xenon. M.
you. Oh, that was a close one. Now, friend, I don't know how to thank you. Had you not arrived at precisely the right moment, I don't know if we would have found the courage to stand up against that vile fiend. But, Captain Atreides... Reuven, please, give our guest a moment to breathe. Container. Ooh, we took some damage. Maybe collecting the cargo that was scattered during this most heinous attack will help lift our spirits, yes? Please, friend, give us a hand if you will. Container. Splendid. Please, friend, do accompany us on our journey. It is just a short hop. Upon our arrival, I will arrange for you to be generous with your company. I hope so. Better do some repairs first. Say, friend, what leads you to this most remote of places? Perhaps you've heard of the famous Pioneer's Initiative and couldn't help but want to see this most honorable endeavor for yourself. I can proudly say that us Pioneers have dutifully expanded the reaches of Sol ever since our inception, and our glorious tale grows grander by the day. I must say that this operation is rather fascinating. A poor honor. How intriguing. You couldn't possibly be here because of the planetary beautification program. Oh, indeed. I have a plethora of vivid ideas that I would very much like to... I mean, that information is classified. Friend? Right. Too many ears. Well, I'm sure we'll have ample opportunity for a chat once we arrive at our destination, my dear friends. Agent, you still haven't met with the Antigone contact? What's going on? Uh, I'm doing this other mission that you told me to do.
Entering system. Brennan's triumph. MRE packing facility. That planet could use some terraforming. Autopilot disengaged. <clears throat> okay, let's finish up these repairs. Docking granted. And let's teleport to our other damaged ship and repair him. Katana. facility. Yes? How can I help you? Ah, uh, yes. I've been expecting another delivery. One shipment of Terran Tech unloaded and ready for sampling. A few of these crates are damaged. That's a bit troubling. You wouldn't know anything about that, now would you? Da uh, Xenon? A Yaki attack? <clears throat> yes, of, of course. That's something we take very seriously. I will inform the local authorities right away. Please, deliver my thanks to Captain Atreides for his bravery. Don't worry about it. Here, take this as well, and you'll have to excuse me, but I'm quite busy. Advanced shield generator coil. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks for your role. I'm afraid I was not quite able to follow. We may have to investigate further. The denizens of the local recreation establishment will surely be able to elaborate. Trust me, assistant, for I have done my research on proper detective work. Uh... Can't interact with anything. Ah... Are you serious? Oh, 
Well, there might be a way around it without having to restart the game. Minotaur, Raider. <clears throat> That's a bad bug. Raya. Okay, I think we fixed it. Fingers crossed. Haven't we run into you before? Hmm. Stars light upon you. My people are spread far, and I consider it my holy duty to travel the gate network and give spiritual guidance to those in need. One day, these pioneers will perceive that their work is guided by the sacred geometry of the cosmos that shaped us all. However, I have realized with great regret that not even my parinid brethren among the scientific elite can spare the time for my counsel. Truly a tragic display of hubris. I had no choice but to withdraw to this humble place so that I may meditate and resume my service among the lowest of the low. These people desperately need someone to teach them serenity and contentment. This area of the gate network houses so many disparate peoples, so much potential for strife. And even on this station, there is scarcely a moment of peace. Not so long ago, I observed a pilot with a terribly asymmetrical face storm through these serene halls, assailing Hello innocent there. bystanders. Yaki? It would truly be a shame if this budding community were to wither in senseless conflict. Good day to you. Hello there. Good luck out there. Hello there. Oh, I'm just working for the captain over there. It's a well-paying job, all things considered. Especially with all the pirate attacks recently. Yeah, about that. You do realize that we're professionals, right? That we've probably dealt with pirates in the past? That situation could have gone a lot worse, but it also could have gone a whole lot better if we'd made even the slightest effort to de-escalate. Look, I'm glad you came to help us out, but next time, try to read the situation first. Should probably tell that to the captain, too. Hello there, pilot. End up here. Hello. Hello. I was with the pioneers from the very start. Well, almost. Mining Wait, rights isn't this the same guy that we helped in those days? And if earlier? he's just some odd jobber on the edges of Sol, uh, the well-oiled machine of the Terran protectorate economy, treats you like space dust. No offense, by the way. Don't know if you're affiliated, but you did meet up with us coming from that direction. She did what? Ah, uh, yes, of course. The bravery. And when those Xenon started pouring in, and we just blasted them out of the sky. Oh, that was glorious, wasn't it? Couldn't have done it without you, friend. And she told you that. You two must be getting rather close already. Look, I'm not saying she's wrong. I know I jumped the gun. Might have endangered the entire operation. I'm sorry I misjudged you. I simply saw a ship I didn't know arriving at that crucial moment, and tried my best to keep up appearances. But I know that doesn't change anything. I should maybe just stay away from Shani for a while. A very long while. No, I'm innocent, I swear. That 
customs officer has been in cahoots with those pirates this entire time. I wouldn't be surprised if she was a Yaki herself. Hmm. You disgust me, Atreides. We made a promise. I'm only telling the truth, Reuven. I keep telling you that we can't stand up to the Protectorate. Please don't tell your superiors. Apprehend that customs officer, and this entire mess will be cleaned up, I promise. Damn it! Reuven, wait! Praise miscommunication, as our new parent and friend might say. Onward! I have marked the customs office for you. She gone. Oh no! The tadpole has jumped the pond. Hurry up, assistant. Our investigation demands the utmost haste. That asteroid does look peculiarly inhabited or abandoned. Hmm. It might just be the poor quality of your camera's resolution, but I do advise caution. And there is the customs officer again. Do not spook her. We still have to find the clue. Orders. Rapier. Autopilot engaged. Abandoned asteroid base. Time negotiation tactics. A certain amount of pressure will likely cause her to yield. What do you want? Are you threatening me? I have no further business with you. What's that supposed to tell me? That you're willing to murder the unfortunate until you get what you want? Is that how you negotiate? Yeah. There are many here like me. People who found a glimmer of purpose with the pioneers after everything else failed them. And day after day, people like you, who just want to ruin our lives for the sake of it, keep showing up. I won't put up with it anymore. I can't. You will just keep coming. You say you killed one of my friends? Just like that? I won't let you hurt anyone else. No choice. Why isn't this working? Wow. I'm waiting orders. She got killed real quick. Ooh. Oh, theory me, no. An item. How curious. Awaiting orders. It's a lot of items. This appears to be a rather advanced piece of cybernetics. Its creator seems to have poured his very soul into the intricate metalwork. And if my eyes do not mislead me, yes, it appears to be linked to the scary and sinister asteroid in your vicinity. Assistant, I command you to investigate. First off... Oh, he's already level three. I don't think I can give this to him. Nope. Fair enough.
All right, I think we'll end the episode right there. And when we pick it up next time, we will discover what this asteroid is all about. <clears throat> and until next time, take care.